Hello guys, good afternoon. What are you doing? Good afternoon, Fernandito. How are you? So we have already done this one. So we're going to continue with use the correct form should or shouldn't. Okay, so here we have this. Here we have the verb between parentheses, and we're going to use should or shouldn't, and also the, the verb, right, to complete these sentences. For example, let's do the number one together, right? You eat more vegetables, it's good for you. Do you think that we should eat more vegetables or we shouldn't eat more vegetables which would be the correct answer there los vegetales son buenos para su salud or no yes are they good yes. for us yes right fernando so we can say you should yeah, you should eat, right, more vegetables. And that will be the, we can say, the, the recommendation, right? You should eat more vegetables. It's good for you. What about the number two? Children watch TV all day. Do you think it is good that you watch TV all day? Should or shouldn't there? Which one do you think that we need to write there? Yes? Should. Shouldn't, right, Stephen? That will be. Children shouldn't, right? Watch, we're going to write watch. TV all day, right? So that is not good for them. Let's see number three. We help mom with the housework. Do you have help with your mom in the housework? Ayudan ustedes a su madre a hacer limpieza, lavar trastes, trapear, ordenar. Which one do you need to write there? Should should, yes, Fernando, that is should, right? Should, right? Help mom with the housework. Excellent, Fernando. Let's see number four. You horrible to your sister. Hmm. Should or shouldn't, guys? What do you think about that one? You know, horrible, right? Deberían de ser malos, portarse mal. Shouldn't, right? No, should. No, right? That is a shouldn't do that. That is not good. So you shouldn't be horrible to your sister. You should be nice, kind, right? So, five. Caroline. Spent all her money on clothes. She's saving for her holy deed. What do you think about that one? All her money on clothes. She's saving for her holidays. What do you think? Debería gastar todo sus, su dinero en ropa? Or, sh or shouldn't do that? Shouldn't, right, Stephen? Nice. So you can say, Caroline shouldn't spend all her money on clothes. She's saving for her holiday. That's okay. Let's see six. You should or shouldn't go to work if you're not well. If you don't feel well, you should or shouldn't go to your job. What do you think, Miss Tania? Si usted está mal, se siente enferma, ¿debería ir al trabajo o no? Sometimes we don't have another 
option, right? What do you think, Miss Tania? Puedo escribir la respuesta en el chat, Miss Tania. Shouldn't, aha, uh -huh, yeah. We don't have option, Miss Tania, but we shouldn't do that. That's okay. So you shouldn't, right, go to work if you're not well. Excellent, Miss Tania, that would be. Then, Karim visit her grandparents more often. What, what do you think about that one? Do you visit your grandparents, guys? Visitan ustedes a su abuelo seguido o oh, never? Which could be, hello, Mr. Herson. Welcome to the class. Sure. You should, yes, Fernandito, that's okay. So, you should mm -hmm. visit her grandparents more often, good. Steven, study harder if he wants to pass his exam. What do you think about that one, Steven? You should or shouldn't study harder. Should, right? Good. That would be should. Excellent. Steven should study harder if he wants to pass the exam and also participate in class. That would be another one, right? Then people talk on their mobiles when they're driving. Do you think it is a good thing to do that? Well, you are driving. Do you think it is great to uh, talk by phone? Imagínese usted manejando. ¿Cree que es prudente que vaya con el teléfono en la mano viendo TikTok? Should or shouldn't? Shouldn't, right? That is not possible. And that will be very dangerous. So people shouldn't, right? Talk on their mobiles when they're driving. And the last one. You arrive late at school. Should or shouldn't? Should or shouldn't? Which one do you think it will be the correct answer for that one? Don't worry, Mr. Sure. Person. That's okay. Shouldn't, right? Excellent, Steve. Then that will be shouldn't. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't arrive late at school. Perfect. That is awesome. Thank you, Steven. So let's continue, guys. Here we have another one. That is exercise three, and it says, use the correct verb with should or shouldn't, right? So, there you have some verbs, brush, drink, eat, go, phone, stay, take, use, wait, wear. Those are the verbs that you're going to use with should or shouldn't. It depends, right? So read those sentences and you're going to choose the correct verb. For example, let's do the number one together as an example. It says, um, you smart clothes for your job interview. So we can say, you should what? Wear, right? You know, this is the verb. Cuando usamos ropa, wear, right? So you should what? Wear smart clothes for your job interview. So that would be the answer for that one, okay? So guys, I want you to work on Jen and then we're going to check them together. Luego voy a elegir algunas personas para que realicen las oraciones, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita trabajen todos juntos o todos en ellas. Work. You're going to have around four minutes for you to work. Remember, use should 
or shouldn't and all the verbs that you have there brush drink or phone stay it depends read the sentence very well lean bien las oraciones y elijan tanto el verbo correcto como la forma de should or shouldn't correct okay uh, if you have questions don't forget raise your hand and i will help you okay word guys five minutes okay guys are you ready can it the number two which could be the answer for that one Liz needs to talk to you urgently you should or shouldn't what which could be the answer there can it mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. should, yes, you should what? What's the real verb, can it? You should, you know, talk, hablar. Phone. phone, yes, you should phone her. Excellent. So, Liz needs to talk to you urgently. You should find her. Excellent. That's great, Kenneth. Perfect. Let's see the number three, Mr. Harrison. Which could be the answer for that one? I will move this a little bit. Okay. Mr. Harrison. If you have a bad headache, do you know headache? Take. Aha, uh -huh. you should take an asp some aspirins, right? Should take. Excellent. That would be the answer, Mr. Herson. You should take some aspirin. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Herson. Number four, Ben can't sleep well at night he he what mr mario chavarria yes shouldn't right shouldn't drink uh, so much coffee in the evenings perfect that is good mr mario thank you a lot Let's see number five, Jeffrey. You, your brother's scooter without his permission. Hmm. Imagínate, Justin tiene su scooter y tú lo agarras sin permiso. Should or shouldn't? Which could be the answer, Jeffrey? use mm. yeah use right but should or shouldn't use is the verb uh-huh but should or shouldn't jeffrey deberías or no deberías usarlo should or shouldn't shouldn't excellent jeffrey that way shouldn't use the one so you shouldn't use you shouldn't use your brother's scooter without his permission perfect thank you jeffrey let's see six laura is trying to lose weight she a lot of sweets gabby what do you think should or shouldn't what si quisieras laura perder el peso shouldn't yes shouldn't what shouldn't uh -huh. hey. Eat. Hey. Excellent. Laura is trying to lose weight. She shouldn't eat a lot of sweets. No, com que no debe comer muchos dulces si quiere bajar de peso. Okay? Perfect, Gaby. That's okay. Let's see, Fernandito. Seven. You in the sand too long. Should or shouldn't for? 
Shooting. Shooting. Speed. Excellent, Fernando. Shooting. Speed. Perfect. Shouldn't stay um, in the sound too long. That would be dangerous for you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. Let's see, uh, Uncle Jack's not well today. He to work. Which could be the answer for that one, um, Uncle? Should? Shooting? Or should? Shooting what? Sorry, I can't hear, I can't hear, hear you well. Stay. Shouldn't stay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's change the, the verb, Angel. Ya utilizamos stayed, vean. Entonces, he shouldn't go. He shouldn't go to work, okay? So that will be the the answer for the number eight, Angel. Go. He shouldn't go to work. Okay, excellent. Miss Tanya, Allison's late again. Do you think we for her? Which would be that one, Miss Tanya? Should wait. Are you sure? Okay, should wait for her. Excellent, Miss Tanya. That's great. Should wait. For her. Excellent. And the last one, Steven. You, your teeth after each meal. What, what do you think about that one? You should. Or shouldn't. You should brush. Excellent, Steven. You should brush. Good. You should brush your teeth. After each meal, excellent. That's great, guys. Perfect. I don't know if you have questions about this. No, no questions at all. Is everything clear? Tienen preguntas o todo está claro? No questions. No, excellent, Fernandita. That's great. So, we're going to continue doing another exercise. Here we have, that will be like a reading comprehension. It says, ask Anita. Let's read these, guys. It says, read the problems. We have problems about shopping. Read the problems below and discuss possible solutions. What should the people do? Ask Anita, right? It says the first one. Let's read it. Dear Anita, I love to go shopping malls and department stores. I love to go with my friends from college and we all have a good time. And I think I'm a good shopper because I usually buy things when they are on sale but i have a big problem i have a credit card i got it last month and i spent too much money how can i spend less money but still go shopping with my friends do you have any ideas judith then we have another one dear anita Anita, my wife and I have been happily married for 10 years, but we have a problem. She loves to go window shopping and try on clothes in department stores. She always wants me to go with her because I can give her my opinion about how she looks when she comes out of the fitting room. That's okay, but she takes a very long time to find something she likes. Sometimes she doesn't buy anything. Anita, I prefer to stay at home and watch sports on TV. What can I do? Mark. 
Then we have a third one. Dear Anita, last week my best friend and I moved into an apartment class to our college. We're both very happy because it's a nice apartment and we can save a lot of money by sharing the rent. However, we need to purchase a refrigerator and a TV. Unfortunately, we only have enough money to buy one of these things. My friend wants to buy a refrigerator, but I want to buy a TV. Without a, a TV, I will be really bored. What do you think we should do, Tomas? So guys, there you have three different, we can say problems, or how, which could be the, the opinion that you will give to those people? Which could be that one, right? So we're going to read them very carefully, the three of them, and you're going to give them recommendations, right? You're going to give an advice to Judith, an advice to Mark, an advice to, what is our other name? Tomas, right? So you're going to read it then very carefully. But now, until do that, I want a volunteer to read the first paragraph. Who wants to try it? Who wants to read these four paragraphs? Un voluntario que quiera leer el primer párrafo completo. Who wants to? Just raise your hand. Fernandito, thank you a lot. Then Jeffrey and then Mr. Harrison. Go away. Do it. Fernando. Go ahead. No, go away. Yeah. Yes, Fernandito. I, I love to go shopping most of the power stuff. I love to go with my friend from Korea. Uh, we became a good time. And uh, I think I am a good shopper. Because I usually, usually it's when uh -huh. they are on or in Buddhist hey a big problem. I have a credit card I got but it last more. I like spending too more too much money poker. I spend this money, but still go shopping with my friend. Do you have any? Perfect, Fernandito. That's okay. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Herson, do you want to try it? The second paragraph. No? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, the second. Mark. Dear Anita, Anita, my wife, and I have been happy married for, for 10 years, but we have a problem. She loves to go window shopping and try on clothes in different numbers. She always wants me to go with her because if I can give her my opinion about how she look when she comes out feeding food. That's okay, but she takes a very long time to something she doesn't buy anything. Anita prefer to stay home and watch sport on TV. What 
Okay, I do. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. What about the last one? Who, who wants to try to read the last one? Volunteers? El último párrafo, who wants to read it? Mr. Mario, thank you. Then you, Jeffrey, and Angel, I will. Okay, Mr. Mario. Last week, my best friend, and he moved into an apartment close to our college. Were both very happy because it's a nice apartment, and we save a lot, a lot of money by sharing the However, we need to push. and a TV unfortunately. We only have enough mother power this thing. My friend wants to buy but I want to buy a TV. Yes. We have a TV. I will be really bored. What do you think the children should do? Should do. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Mario. Perfect. Very good, guys. Okay, guys. You should read them very carefully. Ya los leímos, ¿verdad? Now, I want you to give them at least one suggestion to them. You should use should, right? Or shouldn't. It depends of your opinion. ¿Qué van a hacer? Lean los tres párrafos y denle una sugerencia a Judith, a Mark y también a Tomás, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que ellos deben hacer? So, you're going to read the three suggestions, right? You can use should or shouldn't. It depends on you, right? I want you to write that advice or suggestion in the chat. Aquí en el chat quiero que envíen las tres oraciones dándoles sugerencias a Judith, a Mark y a Tomás. ¿Qué es lo que ellos deben hacer en esa situación? que se les ha presentado, ok, so you can say, eh, you did, you should eh, try to spend less money, for example, or Mark, you should tell your wife that you don't want to go with her, that, that would be another option, right, or eh, there you have Tomas, you can say, Tomas, you should um, buy the refrigerator because the refrigerator is very necessary, right? So, try to give them a good advice, guys. Imagínense que ustedes se encuentran con Judith, con Mark, con Tomás y ellos le cuentan este problema. Entonces, denle ustedes sugerencias. Pueden usar should or shouldn't. Y escríbanlo acá en el chat. Okay? Remember, if you don't know the meaning of any of those words, just raise your hand and ask me. Si no saben el significado de alguna de esas palabras, solo levante su mano y pregunte, ¿verdad? ¿Qué significa tal cosa? Así que escriban tres sugerencias. Uno para Judith, Mark, y la otra para Tomás. Ready? Go and work, guys. You're going to have five minutes. Cinco minutos para que trabajen en esas oraciones, ¿ok? So. Ok, guys. Let's check some of your sentences. Let's see the first one. Steven. Steven says, 
Judy, you should should. Oh, I guess that is buy. Check the spelling of that. Buy only the things you need. You should check that one. Um, no more for don't spend too much money. So, Stephen, that, that's great the idea, but you should uh, fix some things. For example, but, that is buy, I guess. So, Judy, you should buy only the things that you need. No more. In that way, you are not going to spend too much money or don't spend too much money there. Okay. Fernando says, Anna needs to save sometimes. Anna? Why Anna, Fernando? Maybe you did or Mark or Tomas? Hmm. Check that one, Fernandito. Eh, it says, Gabby. That is Judy, right, Fernando? Creo que es Judy, no, no Ana, ok. Um, Gaby says, Judy shouldn't um, buy too much. Ok, that's a good uh, suggestion, nice, Gaby. Shouldn't, uh, just fix shouldn't a little bit, that's a mistake. Mr. Mario Chavarria says, Judy shouldn't spend very money. And you can say mm, much money or a lot of money, Mr. Mario. That would be great if you say no berry. Try to say Judy shouldn't spend a lot of money. That would be good. Mr. Harrison says Judy, you should buy in the market. <laughs> yes, that would be great. You don't need to go to the supermarkets or where <laughs> even in the marker that, that will be like less expensive right nice mr herson let's see steven says mark you should tell your wife that she looks good in any kind of clothes so that she feels good with herself good suggestion steven that's great that's an amazing one. Perfect. Don't forget the last music, the period at the end. Fernando says, Mark has to be more patient with his wife. Good, Fernando. That's a good one. But instead of saying has to, you can use should. Fernando, Mark should be more patient with his wife. Aún no hemos llegado a utilizar este modal verb has to, Fernandito. Entonces, ahí agrégale should, Mark should, right? Let's see, Gaby says... Okay. Uh, Mark shouldn't accompany her and should talk about it. Okay. Mark shouldn't go with her. That, that would be better, Gaby. Shouldn't go with her and... He should talk about that. Okay, that, that will be, right? Mr. Harrison says, Mark, you should show him a... You say a catalog? What's that? Oh. Maybe like a magazine or something uh, where she can, <laughs> she can uh, look for some clothes, right? Maybe online, Mr. Person, that will be another one. That's good. Okay. And not, that is not him. Her. No es him, but that's her. Porque la esposa le va a mostrar. Fix that. Okay. And Steven says, Tomás, you should buy a refrigerator. Uh -huh. Because the TV isn't more important than a refrigerator. Perfect. TV is that, that is not important at all, right? He needs a refrigerator. In that way, he will have food right inside. So perfect. Gabby, Tomas, they should they should buy the refrigerator as it will help a lot. Excellent. Yes, Gabby, the refrigerator is the best option. Uh, Fernando says, Tomas must save money with his friend to have enough money to buy both things. Okay, Fer, that's good. Okay, but if you uh, 
we can say great the importance of those things I guess the refrigerator should be the best thing. Mm -hmm. Great. Perfect, Fernando. Mario says, Mark, she, that is he. He, no she, Mr. Mario. He should have more security when, oh, when to go shop. Oh, she will be, she should be more secure or have, or I can say, Mm, that is like no security. No, check that one, Mr. Mario. Revise esa. Okay, when to go shop. When she goes shopping, that will be. Okay. Uh, Miss Tanya says, Judy, I suggest you budget and shouldn't use more. <laughs> okay. Uh, you should have a budget, right? And you shouldn't use more than that money that you have in the budget, okay? So that, that would be a good suggestion, Miss Tanya, just check that. Not I suggest that we should, right? Perfect, guys, very good. Gracias a los que escribieron sus oraciones. Muy bien, buenos consejos para eh, Judith, Mark, and Tomás. That, that would be amazing, guys. Perfect, very good. So, I don't know if you have questions. Si no tienen más preguntas, solo me queda decirles que estudien este tema porque la próxima semana que hagamos la primera evaluación del módulo 3, ustedes van a sacarse 10. Ok. So, do you have questions? ¿Tienen preguntas? ¿Dudas? No questions at all. ¿No? No, ninguna, teacher. Solo vamos a repasar la clase. Okay, eh, eh, ¿Cómo puedo sacar una oración así de texto? ¿Cómo, Ángel? Sorry, no te escuché. ¿Cómo puedo sacar una oración de un texto así como es? Vaya, como ahí no es que del texto vas a tomar la oración, sino que tenés que leer bien de qué se trata, ¿verdad? La situación y tú ibas a darle un consejo, por ejemplo en el primero con Judith dice que ella le encanta comprar ir a, al ¿qué? al mall a, podemos decir nosotros a Metro Centro ¿verdad? y le encanta comprar, ¿verdad? pero ella tiene una tarjeta de crédito y el problema es que se está gastando todo en comprar ropa cosas para ella y luego se va a quedar sin dinero porque está gastando mucho. Entonces, ella pide como ideas o sugerencias para ver qué es lo que ella puede hacer, ¿verdad? Y tus compañeros igual eh, dieron algunas sugerencias. Entonces, no es que en sí vas a tomar una oración del texto, sino que dar una sugerencia de ese texto. Dígame, Mr. Mario. Eh, esa palabra, window shopping, ¿qué significa? Así como decimos nosotros, Mr. Mario, ir a vitrinear. <ríe> That would be window shopping, Mr. Mario. Cuando no compramos, pero andamos allá en metro viendo todo, ¿verdad? De zapatos hay, en la ropa. Ajá, vitrinear. Ajá. Comprar por la ventana. <risa> sí, sí, Mr. Mario. Pero es eso. Yes, pero es vitrinear. Cuando usted no va a comprar, pero ahí anda paseando en todo metro viendo las tiendas por fuera, ¿verdad? That is window shopping, vitrinear. Ok. Ok, nice. So, no more questions, guys. Ok, Mr. Mario. Questions? No? No questions. So, guys, see you next class. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. See you. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.